Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you mentioned that because I think one of the considerations we make when we, and I get this question asked a lot by the principals and supervisors, how do you match my coach, my teacher who needs coach to a coach? And we start with an information sheet that we, we ask the supervisors to complete. And then we typically have a brief conversation with the supervisor to follow up. But we do match coaches based on the greatest area of need of that teacher. And sometimes that area of need is classroom management. That's where we start. Um, I, I would have said a year ago that I rarely thought that we were going to be coaching folks in content. But I would say that this year we've seen more of that than we have in the past. And that's fine. That's fine. But I will say also that um, I guess I look at I look at it three ways. We're either coaching for classroom man management issues. We're coaching for pedagogy issues. Mm -hmm. So just good instructions, understanding that there's a there's sort of a uh, instructional cycle. Thank you, uh, Madeline Hunter. Mm -hmm. There's an instructional cycle, and there's a way a best way of teaching people to do anything. And then um, there's the content of piece of it. And I would say that nine times out of 10, we're either looking to match somebody because we have classroom management issues and they just need somebody who's really strong in that area, or we have instructional issues, uh, not necessarily related to content. So that's when I don't, I think it's fine. And, and one, of my best, one of my best coaching achievements happened in a science classroom. It was an in-person, I was using in-person uh, it happened to be here in Houston, so I was going there in person, but I was also using uh, using Sibme and recording folks. But it was one of my greatest achievements, and it was a science class. I'm an English teacher. I didn't need to know the science content to know how we could improve things instructionally for that science teacher. And so we take this science teacher whose scores were the uh, student achievement scores were the, the worst in the district to having the highest scores in the district uh, uh, and, and, and becoming the pre-AP teacher in the building. So it's just showing folks a few, oftentimes it's not more than four or five or six yeah. really yeah. important things that can make a huge difference. And that's the value of being a great instructional coach is you're a strategic coach. You know the strategies, you know that if I can show these four or five things, one of them being perhaps something like a Kagan structure or a Kagan, Kagan strategy around how you're getting kids to form groups, um, it makes a huge difference. Right. So um, I'm glad you mentioned that, that sometimes you're asked to work with folks in a content way, not usually, but sometimes, but mostly it's those classroom management issues that we have to deal with first. And then it's the pedagogy, it's the instructional, the instructional strategies, good instructional practices, um, I would say. Uh,